I would say if you want to do international work, I mean, look, you can do international work without an LLM. There's no doubt about it. But it just opens the door and makes it easier. It just makes the start easier. You can get there probably another way, but if you want a sure way, uh, easier way, uh, to, uh, more direct way to get there, I think there's nothing like a GD LLM. I've been the managing partner of a boutique firm called Tribonian Law Advisors. We're known as TLA, and we're a regional player. We have offices between uh, Dubai, Riyadh, Beirut. Uh, we are very specialized in M&A and private equity work. Prior to that, I've spent most of my career with uh, large uh, U.S. firms. I've been a partner with Vincent Elkins. Uh, I was the managing partner of Latham and Watkins in the Middle East. Uh, I've done a couple of in-house positions as well. First and foremost, it uh, definitely opened doors for me in the sense that when I, I, I did the JD and as well, so the JD LM, when I finished, I went back to Detroit at the time. So when I got to the firm, having an LM in international law, uh, people at the firm immediately identified me as someone that they would staff with the international deals. It gave me confidence. I mean, even though, look, it's not like when I was at Duke, I was taught how to run international deals because that's not necessarily what you learn. That's not really what you want to learn. But it, it gives you confidence that you have the exposure uh, to international principles of law, uh, to international treaties, to international institutions. And, and you can get out there in the real world and say, I want to be an international lawyer, whether it's a corporate lawyer or a human rights lawyer or whatever. Uh, but you, you're just familiar with all these concepts and institutions. And you're like, you, you can speak with, with some confidence. I think two things uh, I, I remember fondly. A, the, the study abroad. The, uh, after the first year, uh, we did, at the time, they had a program with University Libre de Bruxelles in Belgium. Uh, and that, it, it was just incredible. The other thing which happened actually later, I think I did it my third year, uh, I did an externship in DC at the Department of Commerce. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I mean, what I've learned there uh, about the workings of the federal government. And at the time, they were, um, they were amending in, in, a, in a fundamental way some of the regulations, some of the, um, some of the export regulations. And I got a chance to work on that and to help draft some regulations and some rules. It was just uh, incredible experience. Also, you have... A, a, a large number of uh, alumni, uh, prospective contacts who will open doors for you. And I have to tell you, the Duke Law alumnus is, is just incredible. Uh, there isn't any time in my now 21 year uh, career where I've called on a Duke Law alum, alumni who hasn't been there. Uh, I've, I've worked with people from Belgium, to Kazakhstan, to parts of Asia. Whenever I was doing work in a new jurisdiction, I didn't have contacts, I didn't know lawyers there, I would look up the Duke Law graduates and they've been there, they're just incredible. So you have that large pool of alumnus, if you will, because it's, a, it's an old program that's been going on for a long while. And it's a program that graduates people that have this, uh, Th 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 this culture of helping others and of really extending a hand when you, where you need them. To me, that's a very, very big plus.